So if an emergency situation happens, an SHTF situation, a hurricane, a tornado, a blizzard, an ice storm, whatever it may be, do you have ways of getting information or maybe talking to somebody out there if you need to get a hold of somebody? It could be that the cell phone towers might be down, but do you have a radio? Today's video, we're going to cover just that. There has been a lot of people that have questions on what kind of radios would be good to have for the beginners. You know, I mean, you can spend a lot of money on getting a lot of different types of radios and stuff, but today I have some radios for you so that you can get information about what is going on and everything else, and these don't really break the bank. And it also ensures that you and your family will be informed of information so that you can make good quality, solid decisions on what you need to do with your emergency plan and if you need to enact it in a case of a severe emergency. So let's get going on this video. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is one of the most common little radios that are out there and that is the Bofang. All right, you can pick up a Bofang radio, you can get it right on Amazon and it's gonna run you right around $50. Now, I would highly suggest that if you want, you can buy just the radio for 50 bucks. You can spend a little bit more money and you can get one that has all the really nice, cool gadgets and all the accessories and everything else to make it really wow. But, you know, it's all on what you can afford. So around, for around 50 bucks, you can get the standard size Bofang radio. Now, this is considered also kind of like a little ham radio. You do have to have a license to talk on this. You have to have a ham radio license to speak, unless it is an emergency type situation, in which case, at that point, you can talk on this to try to get emergency help. I would suggest if you are going to buy just the basic radio, that you buy the extended antenna which will actually give you more range. Now it doesn't give you like uh, five, 600 miles, but you'll get anywhere between 50 and 100 extra miles out of a extended antenna, depending on the area that you live in. Now, if you buy the package deal, you get like the mic, you get the headphone set, you can get the, it comes with the extended uh, antenna, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Now, when I bought mine, it came with a case. It came with the um, it came with the headpiece that you can put into your ear. So this way here, if you want to know what's going on, but say you're out in a situation, you can still hear what's going on, but nobody else can. So you can still be in a quiet mode. So you don't give away your position by listening to a loud radio, if you know what I mean. You know, you don't want to be like carrying a big old boom box down the road. So 50 bucks will get you a Bofang radio. Now the cool thing with everything I'm showing you today is what's at the end of this video and how it all works. But Bofang, right there folks, is a good investment, 50 bucks. The next one is Radio Wow. It's R-A-D-I Wow, all right? Now these are compact little radios, all right? They are a shortwave radio, long wave, AM, FM. You can get emergency broadcasts. You can get all types of things on here. You can pick these suckers up from Amazon also for like 50 bucks. This is what they look like, all right? <clears throat> They're great radios. It does come with, it does come with a, um, an earpiece, it does also come with a extended antenna. Now you do get a little antenna right here, just like a standard radio, you know, for all of you, all right? But if you need to really reach out and you wanna get more range, that's when you're gonna to wanna to use the little cord here, all right? And you can string this up, it's about 20 feet long, all right, you can string it up and you pick up even more out of this little compact radio. And the cool thing with this one is, it also goes along with what's at the end of this video, but this is a great investment, 50 bucks, you're good to go. All right, you're gonna get all the information that you could possibly need. The only difference between this 
And a bofang is, you can't speak on this. You can only listen on this radio. So this would be, if you're not concerned about having to talk to anybody or reach out for help, this would be a good investment for you. And it's lightweight, it's compact. You could take it on a hiking trip. You could take it camping. You can take it anywhere. It doesn't weigh anything. And um, it's just a great value at 50 bucks. Next, we're gonna talk about two-way radios, all right? So say you're at a party and you've got somebody and emergency situation has come about and somebody's going out to get, say, supplies or something else, you can pick up Motorola, all right? Now, there's a lot of different ones that are out there. Motorola's been around for a very, very long time. Actually, these that you're looking at right here, I have had for about 22 years, give or take, okay? Now, these two have a range of 15 miles. I bought them years ago, and I bought them from um, a company called, if you all remember, Circuit City. So I got these from Circuit City, and they're no longer around. They went out of business, unfortunately. They were a great electronic store and all that kind of stuff. But these are really, really great. One person can have one, and the other one can have one. You have a nice, decent range. All right, now you can pick up a pair of these right now on Amazon with the same range for about 30 bucks. Now, if you really wanna reach out and touch someone, if you go, the ones that are about $30 are the Motorola, their T100, and it's called the Talkabout. That's what these are considered now, Talkabout. All right, Motorola also makes if you're looking to, if you want to spend a little bit more money, but you get a little bit longer range, it's the T600 talk about. And that one there has a range of 40 miles, which is pretty good for two handheld radios. But those are going to set you back about 95 bucks. So you see, there's a lot of options when it comes to emergency information and emergency communication that you all need to be aware of and have in your emergency supply kits or just at your home. You know, they come in handy for a lot of things. Now, you can always go old school here, folks, if you would like. And if you're just looking to get like your AM, FM and that kind of stuff, just get yourself a good old boom box. All right, battery powered. Holds 8C batteries. This thing will play for a very long time on those batteries. Now, that's playing just the radio. You'll get days and days out of those batteries just playing the radio. If you use the tape deck or if you use the CD player, your time is going to go down. Obviously, you're using more power. But if you're using just the radio for information, well, you're going to get quite a few days out of this. The downside to this is... It's big, it's bulky. Um, it's like the size of your backpack, if you know what I'm saying here, folks. So this would be something you would have maybe just in your home that you would just leave in your home if you had to leave and take one of the other radios with you. Now, a great thing about all the other things that I have talked about, they all will charge off your rock piles battery bank now this is just a 250 watt battery bank i've got two of these i've got a 300 watt over there i like rock piles and i have told everybody i've done videos on rock piles and i've done videos on how they stand behind their products and i have proof because they took care of me very well and i did a video on that if you want to go back and search for it but this company makes some great equipment as far as I'm concerned and they also stand behind their product which means a very 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 lot to me because if you're going to spend your hard-earned money on battery banks you want to stand behind a replicable company and that is rock piles now I'm not affiliated with rock piles at this point and I'm not getting paid to talk about them I like the product 
I want you people to understand that they, as far as I'm concerned, this is a great, great product. But you can charge all these things. They all come with the adapters and everything else. You can charge with your, <clears throat> your USB. You've got your two ports on the side right here for your electrical. And it's also, what's really cool is, this is also for European. So if you're gonna travel, you can plug in stuff that you can't plug in if you're going across the water, folks. So having a battery bank with a solar panel, which I've done videos on, I have one, it's sitting right over there on the shelf, and you can charge all these different things. All these things you can charge with your solar panels. It's amazing, it's great, it's energy efficient, and as long as you can charge your battery bank, these will always be working for you in a grid down type situation. So I wanted to bring a video today for all of you out there that have had questions on different radios and different things. And these are the things that I have. These are the things that I like. These are the things that I have tested and I approve of being used in the great outdoors and under you know different types of emergency situations. They're very handy to have. They're very, very inexpensive, unless you want to go with the top of the line, more towards the top of the line Motorola, but you can start off with the basic package and just get one and they're going to run you like 27, 30 bucks. And you get two of them. You still have a way to communicate with the other person. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all get a little something out of this video. I hope this answers a few of your questions. For all of you that have been asking questions on radios and what type do I recommend and what type they, maybe you should look into as a beginner. Now, a lot of you people out there, you may be experienced. You may have ham radios, you may have your ham radio license and everything else, and that is awesome. But for the beginners, this is a great place for you to start so that you can get the information you need to make sure you're exercising your plan, your emergency plan correctly. Do you go? Do you stay? And if you go, where are you going? So until next time, folks, you all keep prepping. You stay safe. You keep your head above water. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.